Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com. In this video, I'm looking at the Cherry Framework, which is part of many WordPress themes that you'll find on TemplateMonster.com. So if you're looking at WordPress themes from Template Monster, definitely get comfortable and check out this video for a few minutes. Beginners building WordPress sites focus a lot on the look of a theme, but are probably not thinking about frameworks too much because they don't even know they exist. WordPress frameworks are what developers use to build themes. You may not care because you're not a theme developer, but the theme and framework you choose will determine all the features available to you when you actually build your WordPress site. You can check out my other video on WordPress frameworks, but in this video, I'll describe my impressions of the Cherry framework. So I have installed this construction WordPress theme from Template Monster, and when you purchase and download a WordPress theme from Template Monster, you can follow the documentation to install the theme. Every theme is going to be a little bit different. This one required me to install the Cherry framework under Appearance, Themes, and WordPress, and then I installed the theme itself. So I'm in the WordPress dashboard, obviously. It probably looks familiar to those of you who are familiar with WordPress, but when you install a framework like Cherry, it expands this menu and shows other options. So usually with any framework, you'll see some kind of options panel. So with the Cherry framework, it's pretty easy to find. There's these, uh, this icon of cherries here, and you can go to Cherry Options, Go ahead and click on that. This is the main options panel that you'll find uh, with the Cherry framework. And it's pretty powerful because it allows you to really change everything about your website. So we start with the general tab. And before I do that, let me just show you a real quick um, live demo of this theme just so you can visualize it and see these colors here. Because when I go back to the general tab, uh, you'll see some of the things we can change, like the main body styling where we could add a background um, image and color can change the layout, uh, the styling of the header, and then there's all these different um, font and color options like link colors, um, body text, and you see these gray, orange, and um, dark gray colors here that are just the default settings for this theme. But obviously if you start to change some of these general settings, the whole look of your website is going to change. So a lot of that can be done here on the general tab. Most of these are just headings. Uh, like uh, these headings here, you can change the size, font, and color of them. These are all headings. Here's some other options for displaying a search box, displaying breadcrumbs, some custom CSS, you can integrate live chat. So I'm going to go to the next tab, logo and favicon. You can change your logo here, make it text or an image. Your navigation, you can change the look of this navigation menu here. So again, you have the font, uh, all the font options, some options for animations, arrows, a mobile menu, and then the stick up menu, which is like the fixed header when you scroll. So this allows you to change the look of your main navigation. There's slider settings built into this Cherry framework. So I have slider settings here that I can change. And then over here, there's a parallax slider options. So you see sliding effect, slideshow, animation, and all of these options here are going to allow you to change the look and function of this slider here that's part of this theme. And that's a pretty nice feature because it's built into the framework, whereas um, many themes that I've seen have plugins like Revolution Slider that need to be added in in order to have a slider. So it's kind of a nice feature to have a um, slider built into a theme. So the next tab in the options panel here is Blog, which is going to allow us to change many of the options, just the look and function of a blog. We have a layout here. There's like a grid layout, sidebar on the right or left. Change the image size, share buttons, and a bunch of other options that are gonna change the look of your blog in this theme. Then we go back to the next tab, which is portfolio, which is gonna change the look of your portfolio pages. Show title, filters, can show a button or turn it off, enable lightbox, so a bunch of um, options for changing what a portfolio page looks like. And I believe these project pages here are examples of portfolios. Under the footer menu, you can change footer text, add um, code like Google Analytics. 
So that's the Cherry Theme Framework Options panel. Really quick to go through here, but you're actually gonna, probably gonna spend a lot of time within these options when you're building your site. And it, like I said, it is very powerful because it's gonna very easily allow you to change everything about your website all in one control panel. So under this Cherry Options menu, there's a data management link. It says it allows you to update and back up framework and themes. And then there's an SEO link that allows you to create a site map. So the site map would be useful for like uploading to um, Google Search Console. And then there's a general tab that just has some general, uh, looks like website indexation settings. And there's a few other parts of the Cherry framework that I'll mention here. Uh, one of them that was installed is a Cherry plugin. And this has some options for importing and exporting the content of your website. Um, so this would be useful for maybe moving things from uh, website to website or just backing up your website data. And then there's widgets. So these are used in the uh, standard uh, widgets section of WordPress. And if we go there, you'll see some of the basic widgets included in uh, WordPress, but then there's all these other options that have cherry in front of them like ads banners a bunch of social uh, widgets so like here's a twitter embed social network so i could drag these over to a sidebar or a footer area and then change all the options to easily create these different content blocks on the site so just to show you what that looks like in action i could click on blog on this theme uh, and scroll down to the bottom i believe it's on every page there's this footer so like these social widgets here were created with a cherry framework widget and that's the one i just dragged over to um, this footer area one so you see there's footer area one two three four and those are shown in these spots here one two three four so there's some other cherry widgets too twitter um, v card comments pinterest instagram facebook like uh, advanced cycle says it shows custom posts. So let me drag that over to one of these areas. So it looks like it might be a way to show posts in a widget. Uh, and there's a ton of options here to customize what it looks like. So these widgets are also very powerful for customizing the look of your website. And you may see a theme you like and um, realize that some of these things are custom created. So they're not very easy to duplicate, but in this case, it is pretty easy to duplicate things like this because all you got to do is go to the widget section and drag them over and customize the settings and you automatically have um, that look that you see in the theme demo. Many themes and frameworks give short codes which are little codes you can add into pages to create different um, organization of pages or um, elements on the page. So I can click learn more here and it's going to take me to the documentation for the cherry framework and you'll want to reference this when you're building your site and then you when you're building a page under um, the uh, page editor you can then click on this little icon here to drop down this menu that gives you access to all of these short codes so you'll want to reference this here and then maybe just try a bunch of them before you start building your site so you know what's available to you so there's some dynamic short codes like a post grid, post list. This is a different way of displaying your blog posts, testimonial widget or short code, banners. Uh, these column ones here are just probably organizational for like half columns. And it looks like maybe it goes up to six columns or 12 columns. Some other elements like labels, highlights, buttons drop caps, icons. Under other, there's a video preview, alert boxes, title box, tabs. It's a lot of different structural elements um, that you can just add to your pages to um, add some of these elements that you're, again, you're probably seeing on your theme demo and um, you might be trying to figure out how do I make it look like that? Well, short codes might be the way to do it. There's a few other items in the Cherry plugin, including a maintenance mode, which is pretty handy. It allows you to turn on maintenance mode, or um, if your domain is live and you want to you know, show a coming soon page, you can do that right here. 
You can also import and export content. So importing content is useful because this theme and most themes give you sample data. So you can just load all the images and text just to make your site look more like the demo uh, rather than like how mine looks right now because I haven't done anything. It's mostly blank. I had this sample page here, but kind of starting with a blank canvas. Whereas if you were to load all the sample data, you'd then be working from a template more like the theme demo. And then you could just change images and text and it might kind of jumpstart the, the build process a little bit because you're just, you'll just be editing text rather than coming up with everything from scratch. So to get to that widget section, you go to appearance in the WordPress menu and then widgets. So I've shown you the options panel for cherry options, the widgets, the other place that you often see the functionality of a framework like cherry is under appearance and customize. And with this version of the cherry framework, most of the options that are available here are um, similar to what we saw in that general tab. In fact, it may be exactly the same, but they, they put them in this theme customizer because then you could see the changes live uh, in this preview here. So if I was to change um, the heading font to, di to a different font, it would reload right here and show me what it looks like visually. So this is powerful because you get all those general um, settings that you can change, but you can see what they look like live. So you can look at fonts, colors. If I turn off breadcrumbs, they're just going to disappear right here. So if you're wanting to make all these general setting changes, it would definitely make sense in a theme like this to do it in the theme customizer where you can visually see your changes on the fly. And it looks like some of the other settings from the cherry options are built into this theme customizer. So you can click through these different areas but most of them are in the general tab. So that's my overview and general impressions of the Cherry framework. Like I said, if you're looking at the WordPress themes on Template Monster, the Cherry framework is probably how you're going to be uh, doing a lot of the setting changes and just general building of your website within WordPress. So overall, it looks pretty good. I'm actually using an older version of the framework too. It says version 3.1.5, and I believe some of their newer themes have a version five um, so there's probably some updates that have come out, but overall it looks like pretty powerful and um, compared to a lot of frameworks I've seen, uh, it allows you to just do all those basic changes that you're going to need to do to give your website, uh, your WordPress theme, the, uh, the custom look that you're, you're going for for your site. Definitely check out my other video where I'm going to do an overview of a few other frameworks and talk about WordPress frameworks in general, just so you can get an idea of of how they function, and then maybe see how some other frameworks might compare to the Cherry framework. So I'll link to that video coming up here in just a second, and I'll see you on that next video.